trip to wherever you're going is going. Uh, it's going pretty nicely for most. You can see lots of green on the maps today, but we do have a little bit of red right here. We're going to take a live look outside at the Van Wyckicks right now and alternate side of the street parking rules. They are in effect today. We'll have more weather and traffic coming up on the fours. All right, Lauren, thank you very much. It's been and a man in a wheelchair. And we'll take a look at the weekend too, all moments away. All right, thank you very much, Lauren. What's happening? Just a couple of problems out there on the roads. We do have a new accident on the Major Deegan, or at least on a ramp ride as you head out the door on Staten Island and really in most of our area. Okay, Lauren, thanks very much. A home on Staten Island was left damaged at these boards. All right, it's 526 right now. Just ahead, the announcement that could mean more money for a lot of workers in New York City. Steve, good morning, everyone. We do have things slowing down in Queens. We're going to start with a live look at the Van Wyck Expressway. Delays leave yourself a bit of extra time, and we'll have more weather and traffic ahead on the fours. Okay, Lauren, thank you very much. So delays back past Jewel Avenue as you make your way southbound. If you need to get to JFK Airport right now, the Grand Central Parkway would be your best bet, and then connect uh, to the Van Wyck and head down. At least traffic will be a little bit better. If you're getting on the ferries today, everything looks good out there. Staten Island Ferry, New York Waterway, and C Street all operating on their regular routes and schedules. We'll have more weather and traffic ahead on the fours. Warren, thanks very much. 548 now. A man wind out there, oh, which makes it feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, a great day for you, but if you're traveling on the Taconic, it's not so much right now. It's southbound out on the Croton Reservoir Bridge. There is an accident on the right lane here, so you can see delays starting to build. Uh, not too bad just yet, but I will keep you posted. Then heading over to the Deegan, heading northbound, you do have a disabled vehicle out there by Yankee Stadium in the right lane. Uh, it seems to be more of a southbound delay, though, because of that. And if you are getting on the rails, uh, everything's running on or close to schedule, much better than yesterday, and you do need to move your car today. Alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect. We'll have more weather and traffic coming up on the fours. Okay, Warren, thank you very much. It's six of Levels of carbon monoxide sent six people, including two police officers, to the hospital. A resident returned to a home on Palisade Avenue in Union City to solutions. In presidential politics, Donald Trump is questioning whether his opponent, Senator Ted Cruz, can legally become president. Trump is telling interviewers that was answered on Twitter by posting a scene from Happy Days where Fonzie jumps the shark. Well, and this morning, see so and some of this comes from what may have happened in North Korea. Michael, good morning. You are exactly right. Stocks could come under pressure again today. Futures are lower and investors keeping tabs on news that North Korea tested a hydrogen bomb today and further worries about China's economy and look for data this morning on hiring in the private sector. Meanwhile, tw of tweets reports say it may expand posts from 140 characters to as many as 10,000. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey isn't confirming the change, but Dorsey did exactly that on Tuesday, tweeting a shot of a 10 paragraph text, which works out to be about 1,300 characters. Guys, get your fingers ready. Yeah, I'm excited about that because I, I like to tweet with correct grammar and full right. words, and I feel like sometimes because of the limit, you're trying to make a point and you have to get rid of some of the punctuation and things Absolutely. like that. So we're there, we're down I, for yeah. it. All I sound, right, about, I sound like I'm about 95 years old saying <laughs> that, but it's important to me. Thanks, Landon. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, 609. Use proper punctuation right. when possible. Still ahead, big commuter changes could be in the works.